Hi everybody, this is our uh, review video for Topic B from Module 1. Uh, we've been looking at division in this topic. Um, we looked first at two different ways to think about division. Here's an example of the first way. Let's say we have 12 bananas and we want to put them into our three baskets. Um, the question would be, if we divide 12 among the three baskets, how many go into each basket? And this is one way to think about division. And if we distribute our bananas equally among the three baskets, we discover that we have four in each basket. Um, the second way to think about division is where we know how big the groups are. In this last problem, we knew how many groups we were making, but not how big they were going to be. Here, we have a problem where we have eight bananas, and each teacher each two. So we know that the size of each group is going to be two. So we ha are going to be looking at division slightly different here, because we're saying eight divided by two, and then we'll find how many groups that can make. So let's try this. We're going to make groups of two and see how many we can make. Now we have eight, two, four, six, eight. So we see that there are four groups that can be made. So we have two different ways we can look at division. Either here we solve to find how the size of the groups. We had three groups and we didn't know how many were going to be in each. Here we solved for the number of groups. We knew how big each group was going to be, but not how many we would have. So here we discovered that four teachers could eat bananas. Here we discovered that three bananas could go into each basket. Or sorry, four bananas could go into each basket. Um, let's do a quick review problem. Let's say I have nine peanuts, and I'm dividing them into three bags. How many will be in each bag? Um, I want you to try this, pause it, and then come back and check with me. Okay, hope you have your solution ready. Um, well, I have three bags, so I'm going to draw them. And I'm going to divide the peanuts into the bags. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have three in each bag. Let's try another. Let's say I have eight elephants, and I can put two elephants into a car. So if I can fit two elephants into each car, how many cars full of elephants can I have? Well, let's make groups. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elephants in all, and those are in pair groups of two. So, I have one, two, three, four cars full of elephants. Now you try one like that. Let's say I have ten sandwiches, and I can fit five sandwiches into one child. How many children can I feed? Uh, you try that one, and come back. Okay, well, I'm going to be making groups of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. How many do I have? Well, five, ten. Okay, that's it. I guess I can just fit five sandwiches into each of two children. So there you go. And our final way to look at division is to um, look at an array. And here we have an array with one, two, three, four, five columns, and one, two, three rows. Um, so we call this a three by five array. Now, we are used to looking at arrays with multiplication, but not so much with division. Um, but we can use this array to help us with division. Let's first think about what is the total here. You can either count them up uh, by ones, or you can count the columns and go by threes, or the rows and go by fives. I like to count by fives, so I'm going to do that. Five, ten, fifteen. 
So we have a, an array with a total of 15. Now, if I want to look at the columns, let's say I want to uh, find out how many are in each column, I could divide this by the number of columns. And then I will discover how many are in each column. Or I can divide it by the number of rows, which is 3, and that'll tell me how many are in each row. Now, let's, let's instead of just me asserting it to be true, let's prove that this is correct. So I said that 15 divided by 5 equals 3. So here we have 5 columns. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You count across. How many are in each column? Well, there's 1, 2, 3 in each column. Now, over here, we were looking at um, dividing it by the number of rows. So we have 15 in all, and we divide it by 1, 2, 3 rows. How many are in each row? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we can see that this is related to the multiplication expression for this array, which is 3 times 5, and it equals 15. And I hope this helps to show the relationship between multiplication and division. Um, I think that's all I have to say about the division problems. Um, so you'd stop this video and take a look at the Topic C review video.